Hi, welcome to the Beyond Science Initiative 2018. My name is Albert Dugan from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Kumasi, Ghana, and I'm presenting on the topic Comparative Bioconversion of Young Pills by Aspergillus niger and Pleurotus osteritis into Improved Animal Feed. My presentation will take this outline. Yes, so the rise in human and animal population has caused for the need to search for new feed sources which are very cheap and to also decrease the competition between human beings and livestock. We know that livestock such as uh, pigs, they feed on corn and poultry also feed on corn. Human beings as well feed on corn. So there is therefore the competition between these animal species. There is therefore the need to search for cheaper feed alternatives to combat such competition problems. And one major example of these feed sources are agricultural wastes. And for my presentation, I'll be concentrating on yam pills. These yam pills we are talking about contains high amounts of lignose and lignosic materials such as cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. Lignose cellulose is the most abundant raw material with a worldwide annual production of about 10 exponent 10 metric tons and also this, uh, the cellulose and hemicellulose are all sources of uh, sugars and therefore they can be fermented to produce glucose. Aspergillus niger is also a filamentous algae and it grows very well on organic matter. Uh, Pre-osteritis, commonly known as uh, oyster mushroom, is a type of fungi that is eaten by human beings. Both these fungi can grow very well on solid state fermentation media and therefore they can be used in the production of simple sugars. Yes, so the problem here is that the young pills contain high amounts of these cellulose, hemicellulose and lignin and therefore the animals do not have the appropriate enzymes for their degradation. Also, improper disposal of yam pills lead to environmental pollution. Yam pills also contains high amounts of anti-nutritional compounds such as tannins and this tannin interfere with uh, the absorption of nutrients in the farm animals and hence they must be removed. So the main objective of this study is to compare the bioconversion of yam pills using uh, pre osteitis and a niger to produce an improved animal feed through solid state fermentation. Specifically, the protein levels will be assessed, the moisture content, the ash content, and the crude fiber content in the fermented yam pills will be assessed throughout the fermentation process. Yes, so for the materials I mentioned, yam pills were obtained from the fried yam joints at Queen's Hall. Uh, Queen's Hall is one of the halls in Kwame Kuma University of Science and Technology in Ghana. Aspergillus niger was also cultured at the Animal Science Lab, lab at the same institution. And pre the spawns were purchased from Rob Art Farms and it is located in Kumasi. So for the method, the yam pills were collected and during the surface pre-treatments, they were washed, they were cut into pieces and pounded to small particle sizes. During the composting, the soil water was sprinkled on it and uh, it was sterilized at 120 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. It was then inoculated with the fungi, which is the uh, pre osteritis and the A-Niger, and then incubated at room temperature for eight weeks. Now, periodic sampling was performed in which the proximate composition was analyzed. This included the protein contents, the ash contents, the fiber contents, and the moisture contents. Yes, so for the moisture content determination now, moisture content depicts the shelf life of the animal food. The high moisture contents indicates that the shelf life will be very low and vice versa. Yes, so the green line represents the pre osteritis fermentation, the red line for the control, and the black line for the aspergillus niger. Yes, so from the week zero through to week six, through to week 5, there was an increase in the moisture contents, and after the week 5, then it dropped, it dropped to about 4.8 uh, 
on the hay field. So in order to produce a very good animal feed, fermentation should be stopped at the eighth week to get a very long shelf life. Crude fiber content also indicates the amount of fiber which is being degraded by these enzymes which are produced by the microorganisms. Yes, so for the control, well, there was a gentle, there was a gentle line. And for the A Niger, there was a slight decrease in moisture content, but it was not significant. But the most important one is the pre ostracic fermentation, which gave a very low, uh, which gave a very high fiber degradation. As of the eighth week, it has decreased from 25 to about 9, yes, which is a very good. So this means that a uh, very high amount of glucose is av available, which can be utilized by these farm animals. The ash content indicates the minerals that are present in the animal feed and uh, the green, so showing the pure stresses, we give a very high mineral content through from the zero through to the sixth week. So this tells us that to produce a very good animal feed with a high mineral content, fermentation sh should be stopped at the sixth week. Protein content also indicates the uh, amount of protein which is in the animal feed. Yes, the control well, there was uh, was a gentle line, but for the pre ostracic fermentation, there was an increase in the protein content from the week zero through to the sixth week. Sixth week had the maximum amount of protein. Yes, so this also uh, tells us that to produce a very good animal feed, fermentation should be halted as the sixth week, so that we can get the maximum amount of protein that is present. Yes, so to conclude, pre ostracic fermentation increased the mineral contents and uh, the fiber contents was decreased significantly compared to the energy fermentation. Yes, so this experiment or this project has indicated or has shown that yam peels can serve as a very good source of animal feed for monogastric in order to avoid this competition between human beings and animals. So these are a few recommendations. Uh, strain improvements of the aspergillus niger and the pre-ostracis can be done through mutation and this will increase its enzyme activity. Some of these enzymes are the xylanases and the amylases. Also, an assay can be conducted to ascertain the mycotoxicity level in the aspergillus niger substrate. So uh, a niger is known to produce the uh, fat toxin, which is a carcinogen and therefore needs to be assessed for this microtoxin. Thank you very much for your time.